everyone. I have been sent another gorgeous patch of pictures from Agota Pop um, illustration. She has, um, this one's got dusty, um, she has um, done a new set of butterfly um, pictures and I've just printed these out quite quickly um, on my printer. Now my printer isn't the best, it sometimes leaves a little line but that's just my printer. But uh, I thought I would come in a little bit closer and just show you all the pictures and then colour one. So let's come in. Now there are lots, this is just the first page, so. but we'll start here. These are ones with butterflies and florals. Um, these are the ones I personally prefer because I do like colouring um, florals. But there are some with just butterflies as well, so I will show you all of them and uh, you can have a look. I'm not sure how much they are. They're available in her Etsy shop, um, as are all of her um, pictures. And I do have, hang on, I'm just gonna turn the page over. These are a little bit larger. There's three on a page. Um, I do have a discount code um, for her shop, um, which I'll share in the description to the video. Now, there is a video on YouTube of um, Agota um, colouring um, one of these um, butterflies. But on the back we have another three. Um, so if you want to um, watch a sort of colour along you can. Now I think some of these are potentially, this is a blank page, huh? <laughs> potentially based on real butterflies. Which ones have I shown you? I'll show you those. Here we go. So these ones are a mix of butterfly and floral. I think they're quite different. Um, I've not seen any sort of pictures like these before. So uh, with the, the sort of some florals incorporated. So that's uh, that's different. And these are similar. As you get different butterflies and a lovely rose on that one, different florals. So there are um, four pages of three butterflies. Um, Half of them have got the floors, half of them are just plain, but they are all different butterflies um, as far as I can tell. I'm having a quick comparison between them. And then there is one sheet with six slightly smaller, because there's six on a page rather than three, um, butterflies with the floors um, around them. And this is the one, we're going to colour something from this sheet, but I thought I would show you them all. Um, you can um, see them all as well on her Etsy shop. Now I've only printed these on copy paper and I thought I would just have a go at colouring one on copy paper um, for you today. I thought maybe, yeah, maybe this one. Now I've got my polycolour pencils um, that I'm going to be um, using. Um, I know, obviously you can use any. This is a set of, um, um, <laughs> um, it's a set I was sent. Whoops, it's, there are. 48 um, pencils um, so I'm going to be using those but you can obviously you don't have to follow along exactly should we start with the big flower um, let's use um, let's use this color this is the um, reddish brown to start with and I'm going to use it for this bottom of the centerpiece of the flower here I just want it to be a little bit darker at the bottom. I'm gonna just do a little bit coming up there. I think that's a different flower, so I'm not gonna do that one the same. And then I'm going to use whoops, the, um, whoops, this one, which is the light ochre, it's number 29, to do the next bit. I'm gonna go over the bit I've done and then take that colour up a little bit. And then we're going to finish with a different colour on the top. This is the, it's actually um, number 28, it's the gold ochre. I think it's a little bit lighter. I'm going to go over everything anyway. Sorry, my nose is a bit runny today. I don't know why. I don't, I don't think it's hay fever. I don't usually get hay fever, so I'm not really sure. That um, that base is a little bit weird. So 
I'm going to use the light brown um, number 31 just to go over that and spread it up just a tiny bit. It doesn't seem to be, um, it's too different to the ochres and it looks a bit old I think. Let's just put a little bit of a darker colour. I can't really see the light shining off it. Anyway, that'll do. We use we do our um petals. Um what colour should we do these? I know what I'm gonna do for the butterfly. Just looking to make sure I've got the right colours, which I have. I actually lost one of my poly colours, not not from this set, but I um I knocked it on the floor and I can't find it. But um I'm oh I've had some exciting news. Um this is Bordeaux Red number eight flower. Um, yes, I'm getting, I've ordered my bookcase, it's arriving on Saturday. Um, I did promise I'd share some pictures, so you may have already seen them, because uh, this video being recorded well in advance. But um, anyway, um, I knocked one of my polycolours on the floor, and I'm, when I have a good sort out of my trolley of pencils and all my books and things, I'm sure I'll find them. And I may also find the black a black pencil I lost about a year ago and my gold Bambino crayon which I also lost. I suspect I'll find a lot more things as well so it could be quite exciting. <laughs> Not as exciting as getting my bookcase at last which is good. What I actually did was I gave up waiting for the one that I really wanted and um, I just looked for an alternative and the alternative was twice the price but it rather than being made of MDF it's oak and pine wood so Hopefully that means it will last longer. It, I'm not so keen on the design. Um, it's not so elegant, but husband really likes it. And obviously he has to live with it too. And he's paying for it. <laughs> and it's going to be right next to the desk that he sits at. So he obviously does need to like it. Um, I'm going to go for a pinkish because that red is quite a pinky red, isn't it? So I think I could go for that. What's that called? That's the carmine red. I think I'm actually going to go down the pink route and see how it works. This is 131, which is the French pink. I'm going to just try um, using this one. Um, yes, her husband has to uh, look at it too. So uh, we both have to agree, really. And it's a little bit different in design to what I wanted, but I think it's going to uh, work really well. And it's got a draw in it. Um, which isn't something that I thought I needed but in retrospect um, it means I can put things like my washi tape and you know bits and pieces that are a bit messy my stickers and stuff that you know doesn't really it's hard to make look neat books are easy to make to look neat and tins of pencils are too but odd little bits and pieces they can all shove in a drawer well I say shove I try and keep them tidy but I'm really looking forward to having the opportunity of just tidying everything up and having all my things in one place. At the moment, um, I have my colouring books on the right-hand side of my desk in piles which aren't particularly well organised. And then the ones that are completed, not started, or my sort of instructional books. Like, um, I've done that bit there, too dark. I'm just going to erase that slightly. And it looks messy. There we go. So there is our flower. Gonna do our butterfly next, I think. Or we could do the um greenery. Now the greenery is quite um I'm thinking I'd quite like it to be I've just grabbed the um the red again because I want to darken that bit up while I think about the greenery. I don't think this pencil is laying particularly well on this paper, to be honest. I like these pencils and uh, I've had some really lovely results with them, but I don't think they're liking this. It's just photocopy paper. Um, but there we go, it's okay. Um, anyway, let's, let's move to green. I'm thinking this green looks like a good one. It's quite a mid green, it is the grass green. 
you can see the name very well. And uh, I may just need the one colour, to be honest. It's quite small. And I think this colour just works really well with the uh, with the flower. And I'm just putting less layers on as I come towards the end of it. I think it um, makes it look like that end is catching the light a little bit more. So yeah, I'm very excited about being able to organise everything. And I suspect I'll rediscover colouring books that I forgot I had or that I sort of got to the back of the pile type thing. And I'll probably have to rearrange the bookcase quite a few times before I'm happy because I want to separate out the books I'm currently working in to books I finished. And so I can't stack them all by author because, you know, I've got, for example, I finished quite a lot of Johanna Bassford books, maybe 10. So I don't want to mix those in with the ones that I'm currently working on or else I'll get a bit muddled. So they'll need to be on a different shelf and things like that. But I'm sure I'll, um, I'm sure I'll find a way. And then I've sort of, yeah, I think that's probably about the only way I'll classify them. Now I'm trying not to have to sharpen my pencil. I don't know why I could sharpen it. There we go. So these flowers are going to be different to this one, I think. Um, let's uh, put that one there. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to make the middles more of a brighter yellow. I've got this um, interesting tangerine orange, which I'm going to use a little bit first because it looks to me quite yellowy. I put quite a few layers on at the bottom, then a bit less as we go up like that. And then grab the, whoops, chrome yellow, which is also very bright. And uh, move up our flower like that. That's very bright, I like that. Now, I am going to do these flowers um, purple or violet, maybe, because I know what colour I'm doing the butterfly and I want them to look different. I think this is a nice colour. I'll start with this one. This is called um, dark violet. It's quite a reddish violet, um, purple to me, but that's okay. I'm just going to, because they're not blending brilliantly on this paper, I say they work really well on other papers. I'm just going to spread them out. It might just be because I've just been using some pencils that blend really easily. So I'm forgetting my technique. So I'm just going to spread it gently down like that. And it should layer up nicely with the next one then. Hopefully. I hope everyone's doing well. I know sometimes you are and sometimes you aren't, but I hope that um, I hope you're all able to do a little bit of colouring or at least something that makes you feel um, relaxed. I find I think creativity can go hand in hand with relaxation at times, but it's not always possible, is it? Maybe time constraints or um, health issues. You know, even mental health issues can sometimes affect our colouring. I um, I know that although a lot of us do it to help with mental health, sometimes it's just too overwhelming. And that's where I find something like a really simple mandala can be really good, where you can just um, fill in boxes. You don't have to try and make it look realistic because it isn't and just chill. And sometimes for me, that is the best thing, that I, the thing that I want to do. I'm going to try this reddish violet. This is number 178. So I haven't told you the numbers of all of them, have I? Not been very useful or consistent. But uh, sometimes I just want to grab a felt tip pen, water-based marker, just fill in some space. And that can be quite relaxing. It's not as... Um, 
I find that if I'm colouring something quite complicated, I have to concentrate like a person, you know, a face, hard, hard work for me. And so that makes it very mindful. I have to concentrate on what I'm doing and I have to switch off from everything else. But when I'm colouring something that I find a little bit easier, um, like a mandala, I don't find it quite so mindful. I don't tend to switch off because it's not so difficult. And that can be helpful in a way because it gives me time to think or I can be watching a TV show or listening to a podcast at the same time. But sometimes I do want something where I'll just be able to switch off. Okay, here's our flowers finished and we've got our butterfly to go. Now, I want a hmm, what should I use? Oh, I'm just gonna, I am thinking a bluish green to start with. This is number 21, the bluish green, and near the body. So I'm going to put quite a line there. I know that probably isn't. Oh, that's so pretty. And just start to fade this colour out. I'm trying to avoid these edges and these dots as I go. I may not succeed, you know what I'm like. I'll probably just end up going out of the lines. I'm just taking the colour out, fading as I go. Now I am going to pick, hmm, go straight to that colour, or do we go, I would like a mid turquoisey colour but there isn't such a thing. I might use this and see if it works. This is the ice blue, number 15. And I'm just going to take this colour out almost to the edge. Now I do think that these butterflies, some of them at least, are based on real ones. And so it might be possible to go onto your search engine and just look up pictures of butterflies and find one that will fit with the markings, like the one above here. This one looks like a monarch or milkweed butterfly to me. Um, this one I'm not really sure, so I'm just colouring it in a way that I like colouring butterflies, basically. <clears throat> and uh, there's some that look like the tortoiseshell, some that look like peacock butterflies, um, the other types, I can't remember. But uh, I definitely look slightly recognisable as if Agutta has um, done some research. Our last colour is the pea green, number 24. And um, I want it quite dark here. So I'm going to start off with the dark amount there and then just, just spread it down into the blue. I've used this colour combination quite a bit lately with various different pencils. I'm using like a, a light fallow green or a aqua or a sort of light turquoise with a, um, with a turquoise blue type tone. Works out quite well. Oh. So I'm wondering if I've got a bit of hay fever myself, but I don't normally get it at all, so <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I was in the chemist this morning by my son some hay fever tablets, and um, 
there was some a couple in front of me being sold some antihistamines and um, apparently the doctor had sent them and told them to buy a certain thing because the man had itchy eyes and swollen lips or something and the lady on the counter was saying he obviously thinks it's an allergy and then she was saying how hay fever is suddenly really bad and uh, maybe it's that and that her husband was suffering from it this year and never had before so that was quite interesting or she thought it was hay fever I don't know if he did but uh, she said it was worth a try with the old antihistamines to see if it helped but uh, I'm not going to try them myself um, if unless I remain sniffy for a long time <laughs> sniffy right I want some I do it let's do the little body I want the darkest grey which is the medium grey which is number 71 I think that's the darkest one um, he looks it there is a slate grey but I think this one looks darker so let's just yeah so for the body I think it's going to be a little darker underneath because of the um, um, way the lights falling would fall on the top of his body more can't really see what I'm doing there, so I've probably gone out of the lines, I've got the top of the legs to do. There we go. Let's keep that quite simple. And then I'm gonna grab a black. Oops. This is just called Ivory Black. That doesn't show up very well, does it? And it's number 36. And I'm gonna do that on the edges of the wings and on the dot. I'm actually going to take that dark line just all the way down just so that we can see the definition between the two wings a little bit better now these I find are quite a soft pencil but you can't layer up as many layers with them as you can with other brands so it depends what you're looking for really sometimes it i i choose my pencil carefully um depending on the paper the picture how long i want to spend on it how um how vibrant i want the color to be that sort of thing so there's a lot of factors go into my decision making when i'm picking pencils and also maybe the colours. What, what sort of colour do I want my picture to be predominantly? Right. Um, these leaves I'm not happy with. The tips are too pale. So I'm going to grab another green and go over the ends. Um, I think I'm going to use the yellowish green. Oops. Oh, which is number 22. And I'm just going to colour over here. They just look too pale. It just doesn't quite look how I'd hoped. So I'm just going to go over them. And I'm not necessarily going to go all the way down to the bottom of the leaf unless I think it needs it. I want to see the contrast in the colour from top to bottom. But I think just by adding this, it just makes them a little more vibrant and warm. Um, just you know I felt there was too much paper showing through it's not always anything wrong with paper showing through but because it was such a dark colour I felt it looked a little odd oh, there we go I prefer that I like that colour not that we can really see what it looks like now I need some white um, actually I'm just going to grab quickly the um, pea green that I was using on the wings because now I've put the black in I can see some mist gaps around these dots and things I just want to fill those in there we go let's brush it off again and I'm going to get my white and do a few um, 
it's really on the wings. I like to add some white dots because butterflies do have um, dots on their um, white dots on their markings sometimes. Doing this a bit randomly, but um, I could do a few on the actual wing, but I think it, it stands out much more on top of the black. So I think I'm just going to leave it there, actually. Yeah, I think there's quite a good contrast in colour on that one. So there we go. So there is my first one. Um, yeah. So um, had I, I should have done some, use better paper really to colour that on, but uh, it gives you the idea. And uh, so hopefully um, that has, uh, yeah, got you into thinking about how to colour a butterfly. I have actually got quite a few videos colouring various butterflies. So uh, you can always go and have a look. And I know that Barbara Colour has got the most amazing video for colouring a butterfly. So uh, there's that one you could look at as well. But anyway, for, for now that's me. The link is in the description for the discount code and the Etsy page. So you can go and find these out. She has lots of other beautiful um, drawings. You can see what her style's like from here. It's just lovely florals and things like that. So uh, you can go and take a look. But for now, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and happy colouring. <laughs>